Science can take care of them professionally. The sad thing is that you really believe that, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. It wasn't exactly science that helped your discovery, was it? It was a wee girl, nine years of age. And wasn't it your precious science that gave us all this acid rain and pollution and warming air in the first place, hmm? These creatures have survived for 15,000 years without your help, Mr. Dempsey. What makes you think that you're so special, eh? I... This is very hard for me. <clears throat> I'm a proud man. And I have never asked anybody for anything in my life. As I'm asking you now. Don't do this, Mr. Dempsey. Ah, well. Well, I have a lock to tend to. Thank you. Safe journey to you. Nessosaurus Maras. Up the slides. What's going on? Uh, I do. You're right. You're absolutely right. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, sit down, Bob. Sit down. You know, I, I canceled dinner for this. It's all right. Just a mistake. I hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see this next picture, I, I hope you have the courage to ask yourself the question Where's Waldo? Waldo? was a ridiculous hoax. I never saw them. I, I, had to, I had the pictures made up by computer before I even came. Please. John Dempsey, you are either the biggest bloody fool I ever lived, <laughs> or you are the biggest bloody fool I ever lived. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Where are you going? Home. Scotland on here in saw the pictures. Hey, tell uh, Dr. Vince ab about the photos.
Betty had not been asleep. She had been lying under her knitted coverlet, staring up at the ceiling. That was an interesting ceiling. Pot had built Ariety's bedroom out of two cigar boxes, and on the ceiling, lovely painted ladies dressed in... What is it? There's a car block in the drive. Drive. I do now. Well, what do you intend to do about it? What would you like me to do about it? Ah! Oh, Yeah. 